President Moon Jae-in invited national heroes and their families to the top office for lunch. And today, he pledged not just continued financial support, but also collaboration with North Korea to excavate the remains of An jung gun one of the most celebrated independent activists in the nation's history. Hwang Woo-jun shares with us his remarks. A day before the 73rd anniversary of Korea's liberation from Japanese colonial rule, the South Korean president invited a dozen independence fighters and more than 200 relatives of national heroes to the Blue House for a luncheon in their honor. I'm grateful that I was invited out of so many people. I couldn't be more satisfied. What more could I possibly want? Well, it's truly a great honor. I know that... Uh, I have done nothing to deserve such an honor. I mean, it, my great-grandfather, he is the true hero. President Moon Jae-in has been adamant that South Korea will pay due respect to her heroes. But this time, he insisted that more important than words is action. The idea was first introduced and agreed upon by President Moon and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un at the first inter-Korean summit on April 27th. President Moon also called for more financial support for Korea's patriots as an investment in the future. He noted that starting this year, special allowances to those families have been increased by 50 percent. About 17,000 people are receiving such support. President Moon said he will make sure that up to three generations of the Patriots' relatives are able to enjoy stable lives. He also underscored that the government is now providing housing for those who live overseas but wish to return to their ancestors' homeland. And last but not least, President Moon stressed that the nation will keep searching for forgotten heroes. 202 women were added to the list of independence fighters this year. The slogan for Tuesday's luncheon was, Remembering our heroes in the name of the Republic of Korea. According to President Moon, the independent fighters can be truly honored only by continuing to discover, remember, and repay all their sacrifices. Hwang Wo-jun, Arirang News.